Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we have a very interesting video, guys. I wanted to bring you something different, okay? Let me bring you the start of the show. So today I'm gonna be reviewing the Eco Soya CB Advanced Soy Wax from Candle Science. Yes! So they were kind enough to send me this 11 pound bag. This is the second time I'm doing this video. Why? Uh, because I have a new camera, guys, and I had it on, in, on the wrong setting, and there was no voice. There was no sound. So that, I'm devastated about it, but you know what guys, things happen for a reason. So I'm doing this video to be better, okay? Yeah, so we're gonna be making one single candle because I already have uh, three candles that I made a couple of weeks ago, guys, and I already cured them for you. So let me just put this aside. Again, I love this pastille form, you know? It's, it's like very easy to measure, you know? Look, it's, let me see if I can just show you guys, okay? So it's easy to measure, less mess, it's convenient and it's also easy to, uh, to yeah, put away. Let me just read to you a little bit about the wax. Let me read you the information because that's the start of the show. Okay, so let me just show you the, that's the label. This is, uh, this is what you can find when you go to candlescience.com, guys. You're gonna find all this information. And one thing I wanna say about Candle Science, they have so much education for all you guys, for all of us to learn, you know, how to's, recommendations, beautiful programs, oil, so check it out, okay? Eco Soya Waxes were a favorite of candle makers for nearly 20 years. When NGI made the decision to close their business in 2019, they left a big gap in the soy wax market. In early 2020, UK-based manufacturers Kira, Kerax purchase the brand and these popular soy waxes are very happily once again available. Yes, okay. Eco Soya CV Advanced Soy is a container wax made from 100 soy and soy-based additives. Candle, candles made with CV Advanced Soy resist fro uh, frosting, have smooth surfaces, great glass addition, and even burn pool with consistent color retention. This wax ships well in all climates, okay? Um, then it says, learn more about working with Eco Soya CB Advanced Wax by checking out our lab notes. Okay, and it says wax is packed in pastille form. Okay guys, no, it's like I tell you, they have a lot of information, so if you wanna know more, just go to Candle Science, you know? So let me just read to you about the properties. The wax type, natural soy wax pastilles, appearance, creamy white, application, container, and tea light, Maximum fragrance load is 10%, okay guys? Uh, recommended week series, LX or Eco. Melt point is 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Pouring temperature is 150 degrees plus or minus five degrees. Okay, the instructions, heat to 185 using a double boiler, add 6% fragrance oil or one pound or one ounce per pound of wax. Remove from heat and stir for two minutes. Pour at 150. Allow, allow candles to cure for two weeks for optimal fragrance throw. Okay, so that's what we're gonna be doing today, guys. Okay, yes. So for this, I'm gonna be using the teal tumbler yar. Also, let me just show it to you in here. Okay, guys, so let me read you the numbers for the candle, okay? So I'm gonna be using this fragrance oil that they also sent me, red currants. This is amazing, guys, I hope my husband loves it, okay? So I'm gonna be using red currant which is one of the candles that I already made a couple of weeks ago, okay? This one here. But I'm gonna demonstrate to you because again, uh, the video got lost, no sound. Okay guys, so let me read you the numbers, okay? For this candle, okay? The total amount of wax for this candle, the total fill amount between wax and fragrance oil is gonna be 8.6 ounces, okay? That's gonna be the total fill. So for this, I'm gonna be needing 7.82 ounces of wax and 0.78 ounces of fragrance oil, okay? So I have in here 0.78 ounces of the fragrance oil, red currant, okay? And I have in here 7.8 ounces of the pastille form of the Eco Soya CB Advanced Soy, okay? Yes, so I have it right there. So I'm gonna put it in the microwave, guys. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put it for three minutes and I'm gonna check the temperature because uh, unlike the other uh, wax that I use, this one needs to be 185, okay? I don't wanna go above that. Be very careful when we heat up this wax. So let me just turn it around. I'm gonna warm it up for three minutes and we'll be right back, okay? Yeah! Okay, so as we wait for the wax to come to heat, guys, and let me just get the, the thermometer, guys. And remember, we're gonna need 
of a meeting because this is very hot. We're gonna need paper towels to make sure that we have, that we're prepared in case there's a mess. A spatula to mix the fragrance oil. So this is not as hot because we don't need this temperature to be that hot. 165, good. So we need around 15 more seconds. Again, check. If it's too hot, then you just put the meat in, okay? But this is not hot. 173, okay? Guys, I love this microphone because it captures the sound so crisp, so clear, uh, better than the other one, the big one that I have. Okay, uh, the big one that I have, I'm gonna use it for uh, my live streams, but this one is when I do my videos. Okay, this one is almost done now. Okay, it's 194, I'm gonna let it cool. So what I'm gonna do, guys, I'm gonna use the spatula and I'm gonna mix it. And you know how it is. When you mix it with the spatula, it gets cooled down right away. So let's see. I'm gonna put the fragrance oil. And I'm gonna stir for two minutes. So I'm gonna stir for two minutes off camera, guys, and I'll be right back. Yeah! Okay, so I'm stirring. Let's see, I'm waiting for 150 to pour. So it's not ready yet. I already mix for two minutes. And again, this is the name. This is the fragrance oil. Okay, so let me read you the notes while we wait for these to go lower. Okay, the fragrance notes for uh, red currant are the top notes are lemon, uh, lemon peel, red currant, and grapefruit. Beautiful. Middle note is geranium, jasmine, and peach. And the base note is black currant. Beautiful. Amazing. Okay, let me check again. Okay. 160, so it's not ready yet. Okay, let's see what it, what it says. Brighten any space with our very, very red currant fragrance oil. This unique blend begins with top notes of juicy red currant, lemon peel, and citrusy grapefruit. A heart of geranium, jasmine, and peach, soft and tart top notes. While rich base of black currants finish this fruit uh, forward fragrance. Let this vibrant fragrance inspire your own product lineup, okay? Yes! Okay, set a, set a lively ambience with red currant in candles, wax melts, or tarts. Or transform your handmade bath and body products like soap, lotions, and scrubs into upscale offerings. It's worth noting that this is one of our top performing scents in cold process soap, and it's perfect for intricate designs since there is no acceleration, discoloration, or separation. This fragrance oil is infused with natural essential oils, including cassis bud, grapefruit, and lemon, okay? Blends well with dry gin and cypress, pomegranate, cedar. Excellent, beautiful. Okay, it's 156. I'm gonna wait a few more seconds, and then I'm gonna pour. I love being able to hold the, the Pyrex cup without having to wear a mitten using this wax, because this wax doesn't have to be works when it's very when it's very hot so that's a big pro for me let me just turn it around this way so i'm able to okay it's 155 guys time to pour beautiful that's a beautiful candle there okay guys i'm gonna go clean up and I'll be right back with my final thoughts, okay? Yeah! Hi guys, welcome back! This is the end of the video, so let me just show you the beautiful candles, guys. So let's see if you can see, if you can see these. Okay, beautiful. So today's goal was to try the Eco Soya CB Advanced from Candle Science, guys. So I made these three candles two weeks ago, so they have already been cured, and I was lighting them up, but before I light them up, I decided, you know what? Let me just show you the candle itself before I uh, get a melt pool, okay? So let, this one is, uh, I tried the first candle I made with ginger and spice. Okay, this is the, the candle. Let me see if you can see the finish. I light it up by mistake because I wanted you to... Anyway, so I already did uh, a burn test before and it, it works really great. And it's giving me very good HD. Uh, this one, ginger and spice, is very, very mild. So it's not gonna give you as much like a... Uh, uh, HT as the other as the, as the other two ones. So let me just show you the the color, guys. Let me just put it against the light, so you can see. Uh, it gave me the perfect, very smooth surface, guys. I'm very happy with that. A very good uh, glass addition, also. It adheres, as you can see. So I'm very happy with this. Okay. <sighs> Beautiful. Okay. It smells really nice. 
I like it because it's not strong. I don't, I'm not too crazy about baking scent, you know? So this is perfect because it's mild and it gives you the vibe of like holiday type of vibe. And it's very nice, okay guys? So I'm gonna light it up now. Again, I'm using LX22. I have another bag, LX22, which is recommended to work with this wax. The second one is Pumpkin Rum Cake, also from Candle Science. Okay, this one is very strong, guys. So if you don't, if, if you're not into baking scents, uh, this is not gonna be for you, okay, guys? Uh, or, or you can use this, but you have to mix it up with something else to make it less strong, okay? Yeah, this is very, this is the true pumpkin rum cake. It smells like I'm taking a, a bite of a rum cake, okay? Pumpkin rum cake, that's, it's amazing. True to the, uh, to the scent, okay? Again, this, let me show you the very smooth tops, okay? Again, I'm using an LX22. And this third one is the one that I'm currently curing now. A red currant, also from Canada Science. Ta-da! Okay, I love this camera because the focus is amazing. Okay, so let me show you also the finish so you can see. So you can judge by yourself, you know, don't listen to my words, just judge, uh, judge by the picture. Extremely, extremely smooth tops. The HD on these guys. It's amazing. I already burned it a few times and it's it's truly, 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 uh, it's not holiday-ish, it's like very citrusy, very uh, calming effect. It's like, it's to me, it feels like aromatherapy. It's beautiful. It's very sophisticated smell. I love it. Here you are, guys. So I'm glad to bring you this, guys, finally, you know, after trying uh, for so many weeks of, of making a good video for you guys. I hope you learned something from me today and I just hope that you like my my review of the wax, guys. But uh, I have to say, guys, that the pros that I love about this is like it's very easy to to measure. It's very, it's not messy. It comes in, in pellet form, you know, and it doesn't have to be uh, very hot in the microwave. So you can, you're able to handle the, the jar. Of course, with discretion, you have to be careful because it doesn't get above 185. So you're able to hold the the glass container for the microwave, okay? That's another plus. And also that it gives you beautiful results at the end, okay? That's my assessment. Everybody's different, you know? Everybody uses different fragrance oils. So these are the uh, the fragrance oils that I got from Canon Science, you know? And I also use LX uh, series. They also recommend uh, the Eco series, which I haven't tried. Okay guys, so I hope you like the review of the Eco Soya CB Advance, okay? That's Canon Science. So I'm gonna put some, I'm gonna take some pictures, I'm gonna put it at the end of the video, guys. And uh, yeah, so I'll see you in the next video, guys. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, to give a like to the video, guys. And also go visit my store. Let me show you the candles, my beautiful candles at candleromance.shop. Here they are. Yes. Hypnotic Luster, Hidden Passion, Oceans of Love, Velvet Night, Salty Gardenia and Nocturnal Bliss, okay guys? They're all available at CandyRomance.shop So go check them out guys, I'm gonna be running a sale for the holidays, so stay tuned for that, okay? So I'll see you in the next video guys, don't forget to see me on my live streams on Sundays and I'll see you in the next one, take care. Yes! Yes!